kind of a dance is that, then, Kate? Wait, Willie. No. It's, oh, it's really? called the butterfly. Happy birthday to me. Turn, turn off the lights. Happy Madeleine Jean was a um, lovely, vivacious child. Madeleine was really smart. Um, she was definitely a natural leader. And uh, we always had a lot of fun together, whether we were putting on plays and she was the director, um, or if we were playing Barbies in our playroom for hours on end, we always had a really, really good time together. We were very close. She lit up her room. She's very bright. Madeleine Jean was diagnosed with Wilms tumor just before four years of age. When we knew that we had to have hospice come in um, to treat Madeleine, um, it was very emotional and it, you didn't want to believe that this was the end of her life. I was seven years old when Madeleine passed away. I remember her being sick. I remember the trips to the hospital, but I mostly just remember how much fun we still had together. She was not the poster child um, for cancer. She was someone who you just expected was going to be okay because she never let you know that she was sick. She was still just so happy. When families lose a loved one, particularly a child, the feelings are very intense. Often there's a period of shock, disbelief that this has actually happened, even if the illness has been long-term and anticipated. It's important for Arbor Hospice to offer grief support services to the community because the grief journey doesn't end after the loss of a loved one. Emma Kate received grief support from Arbor Hospice. I think she was a bit afraid to talk to mom and dad about Madeleine because she could see how hurt we are and how it just seemed we were going through the motions. After Madeleine passed away, um, I started using the grief counseling services through hospice, um, which included having a pediatric grief counselor meet with me one-on-one. -on -one. The grief support services that Arbor Hospice offers include individual counseling sessions, support groups based on the type of loss a person has experienced. There's also art therapy and memory book creation, all designed to make sure that the different types of loss a person has experienced are addressed. Arbor Hospice's grief support services are 100% funded through donations made to the Arbor Hospice Foundation. And so it's important to have all of your support as we provide these services to hundreds of children and adults. I think hospice plays a very important role in our community. We help take the fear away and we hold their hand through the process and through the grieving process which takes place after the patient dies. I can definitely attest to the effect that um, the care that hospice provided for my family and I um, has affected me now. I majored in psychology um, and I knew I wanted to pursue a career as a counselor. I actually had the opportunity to run grief support groups for kids. It was a really cool opportunity to be able to have my grief counseling experience come full circle. I'm currently getting my master's degree in counseling. Um, when I'm done, I will be a clinical mental health counselor and my focus is in childhood trauma and grief. The services that hospice provided for my family and I were really critical for us coping with my sister's death at the time and I think that I'm able to thank hospice and the grief services that they provided for that.